okay, Fiorain? Yes, Cotton? Remember what it was like being poisoned? Oh yes, it was terrible. One of the worst experiences of my life. Could you describe it, like, in detail? Well, it was a bit traumatic, honestly, so I would rather not. So you're saying if I use it against the monsters, they will feel great pain? Yes, I suppose. Excellent! Now I can kill them in the most painful way physically possible! Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, today we gather to discuss one thing. Poison! No, I'm not talking about the glam metal band or the song by Alice Cooper. I'm talking about what may well be the most underutilized status in Monster Hunter, at least in the recent games. Prior to the fifth generation, poison was used a bit more commonly, it was on good weapons, and it got the job done quite well. In World and Iceborne, the way the status works as a whole was nerfed, and so people stopped caring about it quite as much. But in Rise and Sunbreak, the status was returned to its former state. The big deal here that many people may not even be aware of unless they've actively messed around with the poison status in the past is that poison is the only status in Monster Hunter that can have the buildup applied while it is actually active. While a monster is poisoned, you can prepare it for the next poison, and if you reach the next threshold, all it will take is one hit once the poison is ended to start a new one. This begs a simple question. Can you have 100% uptime on poison? And the answer, as you'll see in the footage that I'm showing, is essentially yes. There are some slight dips, I would label this as more uh, 95 to 97% uptime, but that is more my own lack of skill with dual blades than anything else, as well as not keeping status trigger active as much as I could. Of course, this footage currently is also on Shagaru Megala, which brings us to some more interesting discussions about poison, because today is all about poison testing with poison and giving you the simple mathematical results of how strong poison can be, as well as some grander thoughts about its utilization in the modern era of hunting. 85% monsters in the game are affected by poison in the exact same way. Once poison is applied, they take 30 damage every second for 30 seconds. Quick math on that makes it 900 damage, which means every time that you can apply poison is worth 900 damage. Of course, there are also monsters completely immune to poison, which consists of any monster that can apply poison to you, and also Astalos for some reason. Waka waka. Aside from that, there are only two monsters in the game affected uniquely by poison, one of which is Shagaru Megala. On Shagaru, poison only lasts for 15 seconds instead of the normal 30, so it clears from his system particularly quickly. However, he also has the lowest thresholds to apply poison and also the lowest resistance gained after being poisoned, meaning that it is easier to reapply poison a second time and a third time in order to make up for it only having half the normal duration. Conversely, Kashala Deora, being notoriously weak to poison, has the the poison debuff lasts a little bit longer than standard, at 35 seconds instead of 30. This amounts to an extra 150 damage per poison, and also making it even easier to keep him poisoned over time, by which I mean, if each poison lasts 5 seconds longer, that is 5 seconds more to apply poison buildup, and also it means that 6 poisons last the length of 7 poisons against any normal monster, meaning that he builds up his poison resistances slower as well. One final interesting poison interaction, then, is the training dummy in the training room, which works uniquely from anything else in the game. For whatever reason, the training dummy only ticks for damage once every two seconds instead of every one second, and it also only ticks for 10 damage per tick instead of ticking for 30. Not that this really matters for anything in normal combat, it's just the training dummy, but I thought it was interesting to see anyways as this is talking all about poison and the various uses of it. On one final note of interesting things, poison itself cannot kill a monster. After a while of testing, I started to get the feeling that this might be the case, so I installed a mod to track monster HP, and as you can see, a monster on one HP with poison ticking away just doesn't die. It just sits there ticking down until you do that final bit of damage yourself. Finally, let's talk about a couple of things that affect poison even further. But wait! There's more! When it comes to skills, there is of course the basic poison attack, but then on top of that we have the Camellios Armor unique skill, Camellios Blessing, which at level 3 increases the duration of poison applied to monsters. Specifically, it doubles it. Against an average monster, this makes the poison last for 60 seconds with this effect, against Shagaru it lasts for 30 seconds, and against Kashala Deora, it lasts for a full 70 seconds. Another skill that makes poison even better was of course added in the recent title update being Status Trigger, the skill on Gold Rathian Armor. This is the thing that truly makes it possible for poison to have the active time that it does in a hunt, as buildup resistance only helps a monster so much if you are applying the status three times as fast as you would be otherwise, which is what status trigger does. Normally, status will only apply on 30% of your weapon hits, it's just the way that status works. Every time you dodge through an attack with this skill, you will get up to 12 seconds of status buildup applied on every single hit, because status trigger just does that much. And while I am using that skill in the footage you see here, I'm not necessarily using it perfectly, and so if you 
were, you could apply even more status than I am, even quicker. Which is part of why status is great now and part of what makes poison even better than it used to be. The last thing to increase it is the Dongo Specialist food option. This says that it increases your abnormal status attack effects, and if you're wondering what that specifically means, it increases your status number by 5. Just 5. No matter what your status number is, no matter what status you are using, it will go up by 5 if you eat for this Dongo and you can see it on the status screen. With that in mind, it is far better in a build with lower status for that specific reason. All of the actual testing out of the way then, let's talk about the real question here. How good is poison in hunting? Well, in the hunt that you've been watching for the majority of this video, Shagaru Magala is poisoned pretty much the entire time that I'm killing him, and the quest lasts for about 12 minutes. It's worth noting that while I do have damage skills in this build, they are entirely secondary to just having everything to make poison as effective as possible. So, let's say about two minutes of the quest time was spent moving around the map, catching up with him in the first place, then following him around. That makes about 10 minutes of active poison time. At 30 damage per second, that means in this quest, poison did 18,000 damage. Shagaru in this quest has a health range of 38,000 health to 43,000, and this means that poison itself did around 40% of the monster's health during this quest, which is, well, incredible for something that is just ticking away passively in the background. Not to mention that in Sunbreak, we also got a little skill called Foray. If you can combine this with a build capable of 100% poison uptime, which realistically is just a strong poison weapon with status trigger being purposefully activated as much as possible, makes Foray also active the whole time, which at full ranks is 20% affinity and plus 15 raw. This is quite a strong effect, and being able to keep it active that often pretty much just offsets the loss of raw from using a slightly weaker weapon to activate poison, and that isn't even accounting for the extra damage that the poison will apply during that time itself. All this to say, I think people absolutely underestimate poison. It was decent enough before, but especially now, with the addition of status trigger in Sunbreak's update, it can just be endless free damage, thousands upon thousands of damage points just ticking away endlessly while you do whatever you want to. The thing with poison, of course, is that it actually does more for you the less effective you are at hunting in general. If your hunts last for 20 minutes instead of 12, and you can keep poison active for the whole time still, then the poison will instead do 36,000 damage, and so, as a result, the more utility you have in your build, the more comfort skills that you like to use, the stronger poison is, relatively, because poison doesn't get weaker just because you don't have attack boost. Poison is just poison. It does what it does, and against the majority of monsters in the game, that is enough to really hurt them. On top of this, what's extra neat is the way that something like Foray works in a multiplayer quest. Technically speaking, only one person needs to be running a poison build for Foray to be active on all four hunters. So if you are hunting with friends that you can coordinate your builds with, then you can actually work around this purposefully. Of course, in multiplayer, status resistance goes up as well, but that doesn't stop this from working if three people have full damage builds with Foray involved, and a fourth is just using a super strong poison build, as the hunt will be shortened by quite a bit relative to what it would be otherwise, and so the extra buildup required won't slow you down at all. Basically, poison is good. It's really good. Not many people use it. In Sunbreak, the devs did a great job of revitalizing elemental playstyles for the vast majority of weapons, making them generally stronger than raw, but now with the addition of a status trigger as a skill, statuses are starting to get the same treatment, and I personally believe that poison should be right at the top of the pile of statuses that people consider using for an average hunt. Today I've not only provided you with a ton of information about poison in various scenarios, but also given you the math to back up its strength over time. I hope you've all enjoyed this talk about poison and its capabilities and limits in Sunbreak. What do you think? Are statuses truly worth using now? What about poison specifically? Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye